Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman. And I'm the captain. We've got a world exclusive. And we don't get paid for product placement or anything in this video. <laughs> Imagine if, I imagine wish if we, we did, did though, yeah, it would be amazing, <laughs> wouldn't it? I'd be getting my Costa on every day long, it'd be good, wouldn't it? Um, SL5, Marshall. And not just any old SL5 video. This is, um, as always, from Chappers and the Captain, another world exclusive for you. <laughs> very kindly uh, lent us Thanks, one John. of uh, only 10 SL5s in the world at the moment. Yeah. All the others have gone to magazines to be reviewed, but uh, we got it for a video exclusive. Yes, Captain rather cunningly did not tell me that we were doing this today. I know. I so, know. as you probably remember, the AFD100 video that we did, uh, gosh, must be two years ago now. Is it really? A while ago. Yeah. Was just hands down one of the best sounding videos we've yeah. ever done. So how excited was I when Marshall said, we can do a little five watt version of the AFD 100 coming out at the NAMM show. Pretty excited. In fact, I must admit that for the first time in a couple of years, I got a bit nervous. <laughs> because I, the thing is I realize as a world exclusive that the chances are that one of my heroes might get to see this video. And uh, I had to do a couple of takes, didn't I? Which is why I'm probably not going to play on this video. No. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, so SL5, what is it? Okay, here it is here. Hope you can see it properly in shot. Uh, it is a, a five watt all tube uh, mini monster version of the AFD100. So we've got three ECC83 preamp tubes and one EL84 output tube. It's two channels, clean and a, a drive channel comes with a foot switch that allows you to change uh, the drive channel and switch a reverb on and off. Uh, it has two modes of operation, a five watt mode and a one watt mode, which is super cool. Um, and it's basically just nailed the whole classic slash tone with a Les Paul. It's, it's really, really good. I think that this is gonna fulfill an area where I feel Marshall have been weak of recent times. <laughs> amplifier or smaller you'd, you'd kind of typically see a little combo like this and the problem is then no matter how good a speaker you put in that combo yeah. or how well you voice it it can only ever sound you know the laws of physics say that the sound can only sound like it's coming out of box this like is that. fat isn't it yeah so they this is much bigger i say much bigger it's probably what 25 30 percent bigger it's deeper deeper taller yeah. maybe not so much wider but it's certainly i mean it's typically the size that maybe a hundred watt you know combo would be even though it's only five watts and coolest thing ever because these are the best sounding speakers in the world even if i do say so myself it has a Celentian, a Celentian, Celentian, which is a Celestian, the captain range. It is. It's a Celestian Vintage 30 in here, which is absolutely synonymous with Slash's kind of tone. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the 4x12s he uses are all Vintage 30 loaded. I've got so two questions about the amplifier because mm. I don't know the answer to these. Does it have a fax loop? Uh, let's have a look. I don't think it does actually, but let's have a little looky. Would you like me to read any, uh, any of this the- This um... bedtime story of a captain. Who wants a bedtime story? Say in the comment section okay. below. What language would you like it in? I'd like it in English. You sure? Or Mandarin, I can, do, or French. I can do Spanish, French, German. Let me read out what Slash would sound like if he was German, because this is the bit. The uh... SL5 gives you an essence of the AFD100 in a truck and a amp. 
apparently that's what Now, if you are like. German, I'd like to apologise for the <laughs> profanity that you've therefore been witness to. Yes, I didn't do German at school, so I have no idea what that page said. But basically, you get a nice little manual with a forward from Slash in it, thanking you very much for buying his little amplifier. Um, but yeah, there's no effects loop, but the re you have reverb on board, so I guess there is an argument, you know, apart from perhaps a delay pedal, there's not much else you'd want to put through the effects loop. Um, <laughs> Is there? What else? Well, I want to put my effects through the effects loop. Well, you put them but all the thing the front is, end, they have got you? a very good oh, reverb. Argue. You. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. You know, it's just for me that would have been something a little bit special. But the thing is, we plugged into this. Yeah. We played it for roughly forty-five minutes. Yes. And it it just sounds great, no matter what you do with it, which yeah. is what we wanted and what I was really happy about. And effects loop would have made it even better for me. How much does it cost? Okay. Well, these are selling at the moment uh, somewhere between 550 and 600 pounds. That's good. Um, I think, yeah, you, you just need to go to the Anderton's website to confirm that. It's a fabulous little amp. Some people might say, you know, a little bit on the expensive side for a five watt combo, but I always think that's kind of, yeah, dearer than a rubbish five watt combo, fair enough. But it's not a rubbish five watt combo and nothing like as expensive yeah. as perhaps a boutique five watt combo would be. No. So, you know, it's kind of in the middle. <laughs> got a couple of holes in the front yes and one of them is for your humbuckers and one of them is for single coils yeah we, we kind of uh what you heard uh or what you're about to hear is uh rob ripping up a whole plethora of kind of classic slash and other sort of you know les paul and marshall kind of classic combinations but we shot a load of uh audio first we did the classic schoolboy error of not reading the manual so i plugged rob into input <coughs> one and the lead stuff sounded great, but through the headphones, some of the rhythm stuff was just had a slightly kind of... Uh, I, and I actually preferred it in hole one, yeah. because it had that slightly more top end, and I would have rolled off the bass and, and got it yeah. there in but hole it, one. So but read... for everyone's laughing, I've got no idea why. <laughs> so I read the manual, and the manual said, hole number one is for weaker output pickups, and hole number two is for uh, higher output pickups. So we yeah. went into hole number two. I still thought it sounded immense. It nailed it, the slash it, thing. Yeah, and, it, and it stopped that slightly dirty rumble. Um, I mean, we might as well, you might as well have a listen and you can have a... So yeah, this, so this here's, is, here's well, this, hole this is, one. No, well, let's do hole two. This is what I think it, this is the, oh, the this input is it two. should be in. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's just turn it on. And this is hole number one, same thing. prefer hole number one. Really? I, I'm so, a hole one guy. Well, I'm a hole two guy. To be honest with you, if we did both at the same time, that would be something called double <laughs> penetration. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's quite a lot of that on YouTube, if you're not sure what I'm oh, talking man, about. Oh man, I'm sorry, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's what we like here at Anderson Stock UK. Um, uh, so yeah. basically, uh, right, let me show you the one watt mode. So I'm going to go back into hole number two because um, that's Could we call it home. input two? Input two. Let's call it input B. From input now on. two. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll just switch it whilst. Uh, so we get a chord on five watt mode. Put it on. Oh, better turn it on. The low end, doesn't it? Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. It's got um, the low end. So that's basically. I tell you what, we haven't shot any of in the um, riffage section. Is the clean sound? No. So uh, let's do. Well, we were going to try. Let's do two a and a half seconds of clean. clean. Oh, okay, two and a half seconds of clean. Because <laughs> that's all it's worth. There is something right. that does confuse us about this amplifier, isn't there? Is there? Yes, there is. The confusing thing is oh, that yes. the uh, the switch, which is a three way, goes standby, off, on. Yeah, so I don't think it actually matters, essentially, because to, to, to go, I mean, in case you're thinking, well, what's the problem with that? Obviously, your, your normal 
way you would switch an amp on is you go from the off position, switch it to standby, and then switch it to on. Obviously on this amp, you go from the off position in the middle, switch it to standby, and then you kind of got to switch it off again before you can get to the on position. Yeah. But actually, the valves are still going to be warm. Yeah, electronically. You so, just <coughs> dive but it's just a bit odd. Actually, that yeah. yawn, by the way, was because of my gelage. It wasn't to do with anything else. Yeah. Rob has been back in the UK now for nearly two weeks and says he still has jet lag. But I can I tell don't... you why. It's because his time zone that he normally lives in, My in circadian the UK, rhythm means getting up at about two o'clock in the afternoon and going to bed at like six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> so when he has to get up at a normal time, it's like when I pick <laughs> Rob up this morning at about 10 to 10, the first thing Rob says to me is, Christ, it's early, Lee, isn't it? I'm like, <laughs> I've been up for four hours already. What are you talking about? Anyway, anyway, clean tones, uh, clean tones, and strat tones and things like that. Yes. So let's have a bit of clean with a with All a right. lay pool. That sound really, really. I mean, I, I again. I hope that YouTube makes the sound nice for you. But this, this is a really good sounding amplifier. Yeah, it's a great sounding amplifier. Yeah. I should, I should just tell you, I'm very, very proud of a, of the fact that of the AFD 100s, which was the big head. Andertons was the biggest retailer in the world for <laughs> AFD 100. We we sold uh, over 80 AFD 100 heads. Probably because we shot a kick-ass video and, and uh, everybody wanted to buy one from us. Don't you so, also own one of them? I do own an AFD 100, yes. Isn't it one of the special ones? It's a special one, signed, signed by, by Slash. slash. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm hoping that with your help, we can repeat the feat on the SL5. Repeat the feat. Because um, <laughs> I have ordered a lot of these. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. <clears throat> so um, could you that's, drive? That's because I wanted to be in a position, you see, when you guys watch this video and you go, oh, that's a great sounding amplifier, must buy one. I, I don't want to let you down and not have one when you need one. He's a nice captain, you see, he thinks about you. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to try this very unslash like instrument now, the Strat. Uh, I'm going into input number one, which is designed for pickups uh, that are a little bit quieter. Uh, and I've changed the EQ around a little bit just to get a, a, a sort of a more pleasant, clean. <laughs> And um, this is a, a little sort of funk jazz competition that I've been working on underneath my uh, my jazz my jazz soul pseudonym, Carmel Toe. <laughs> it's coming out on an album shortly. Carmel Toe. So <laughs> how did you come by that name? <laughs> I stole it from you. So. <laughs> It's for a little duo that, that Rob and I are going to do. Um, Don't yes. give the game away, Lee. Oh, can I tell? I've got to tell a little bit is? about Carmel Toe. Well, Car it's Carmel Toe is, is is actually strictly speaking Rob's character. I, I, I'm. Uh, it's a French. Uh, it's a French uh, sort Your of rock Marge, jazz Marge, duet uh, called Millie Vigili. and uh, I'm Carmel Toe, and I'm uh, Fanny Batur. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, together we're an '80s soul outfit. Yeah. Uh, we're looking for a keyboard player. <laughs> we are. We're looking for a keyboard yeah. player. We've got a we've got a massive song that we called um, "I Got a Trick Up My Wizard Sleeve." Yeah. Um, I got a trick up my wizard sleeve. It's thick <laughs> in my wizard sleeve. <laughs> and it's some anyway. We got to, we obviously got to work on it a bit, but uh, anyway, if you want what to be the keyboard player in our band, on that for hours. all you, you got, got to do is have a that. silly name and no talent. Yeah. And we might have the return of uh, at some point. Will the beast? Will the beast? <laughs> Uh, right, let's hear what this sounds like with a bit of drive. Oh!
So it clearly well, likes a bit wrong a bit, both kinds of guitars. It does. <laughs> Can I try my Seymour Duncan strip? You can do whatever you like, Carmel. Yay! Really, it does the whole thing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, to be honest with you, it's um, it sounds like that that makes you realise why Slash has basically never really used any other amp brand other than Marshall. Why? Why would he? <laughs> you know. And um, it also makes you realise why Marshall is where they are. Yes, you know. the daddy. Yes. <laughs> Okay, well, hope you I've, enjoyed this video. I've been uh, Kamel Tone. And I've been um, Fanny Butter. And we're from the band... Millie Vigili. No, 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 you've you changed oh, the band sorry. name. Oh, sorry. See, Lee's, Lee's lost the plot now. <laughs> we changed the band name to be... Sorry, you're right, Soul Train... Um, Divas. Soul Train Divas. Yes, STD. <laughs> Live in your eyes, chap us out. See ya. <laughs>